Hi, I'm here with Gus to interview him about how the track program started. So how did the track program start? It started in 1965 when I come to Montgomery as head football coach. Uh, we didn't have any equipment at all. The shop made us a couple hurdles out of wood that we used and we used to jump behind the school on the blacktop. We had a long jump pit, we jumped off the parking lot. They dug a pit and put sand in for us, 20 yard circle. And that's where we got it. And most of our track meets were away. Okay. Okay, and most of the schools that we were running this at that time were of course where they already had established program. South Williamsport, Lewisburg, Mountain, Lock Haven, Jersey Shore, uh, Danville, no we ran Danville, uh, Milton we ran, uh, Sailings Grove, Lewisburg. And uh, we were in what they call the old West Branch League at that time. And we won it, we won the West Branch two years in a row. And we had our district meet, the league meet we had down at Bucknell that night. And we, that's the night we won the championship down at Bucknell. Down there, that's where we had our final the, the championship. Uh, this program, when I started it, uh, we started from scratch. We didn't have any pole vault or anything at that time. Uh, I had, uh, when I started a track program in St. Mary's, I had a 13-foot pole vaulter up there. And I also had a 13-foot pole vaulter and uh, a kid by the name of Kaler. Um, the program, over the years, probably had about 40 kids that qualified for states in different events. Um, I had a couple of boys that were super athletes, a kid by the name of Ernie Meisel, who went down to uh, Susquehanna University and was on our relay teams down there. He graduated from Susquehanna with a straight A ball, all the way through four years. Uh, I had quite a few good girls. I had a girl by the name of Daisy Viney who ran 100 for me, 200 and won the relays. And uh, another girl, I took her to stage. Well, she wasn't very big. Uh, her name was Tammy Croft. Okay. She uh, qualified at districts for javelin. She won a districts for javelin, shot, and disc. Took her to stage and she won three medals down the states. And all three, she medals in all three of them. That's down impressive. The states. That's impressive. The javelin tower, he's picture you see in there is uh, Mike McRae. He threw the javelin 196 feet. That was his best over the year down at, and he won, it, he won the, the championship down at the Shippensburg a year. I had another kid that threw the javelin 200 feet and he didn't qualify for states. There was a kid at Loyal Socket that threw something like 206. Uh, the kid that threw it here, he went to Bowling Green and he threw the javelin out there and they even tried out for the Olympics after that. I don't know how he, how he qualified at Bowling Green, how far he threw it, I don't know. He never told me. But uh, I've had, had some super athletes at that time. Uh, you know, we were getting, I was getting about uh, 35, 40 kids off the track uh, at that time. And uh, the girls had some super athletes. Uh, I had another girl by name, Heather Waltman, who was a real good sprinter and quarter miler. And I had uh, two girls throwing the shot over 35 feet. One, both, one went down to uh, Penn, Penn State. And, uh, that's where they had the state meet at that time. It was at Penn State. And uh, hey, Skip. Charlie there, he ran the hurdles for me. He has a school record on the intermediate hurdles. If you look at the board there, Skip ran the mile for me. Ed, who's coaching javelin down there. Logan, come here. He threw for me. He was a sprinter. Ed was a sprinter for me. You wouldn't believe it looking at him now, but uh, he did run. And I had a kid by the name of um, Ty Hall that uh, was a real good athlete. He ran the high hurdles. He ran, he ran the high hurdles in 15 something. He went to states down there. And uh, so I, over a period of time, over, I coached for 28 years here as head coach. When I first started, I only had one assistant. I did all the coaching of all the events. And okay. uh, then I had a guy by the name of George Vance who came in who ran cross country at uh, up uh, where did he run? He ran one of the uh, up around the coal region up there. What's in the state teachers college up there? And he helped me with the. He started to run 
coaching the distance runners for me. And then Moore Keckel, who's over at Hughesville now, he ran the PIA uh, district meets for years. He set up everything, but he's done with it now. But he, he come in and he worked with the high jumpers and shot players. And stuff. Those were my couple assistants that I had over the years. But most of the coaching that I did was uh, over everything when we first started. Until they finally decided, well, we better hire some assistants because we're getting all these kids. So after I retired, I did that for 25 years. In the 25th year, I gave her, just to get her a copy of this. They gave me a plaque and a trophy. I got a trophy at home about that big for my 200 twin on track okay. in the 25 years that I was here. But I ended up coaching until 28 years until I retired. And then when I retired, I said the guy said, well, can I come back and be an assistant? And the guy said, the guy from Ellen Sport didn't want to join me. He says, no. So they wouldn't let me be an assistant first first year when I retired. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I come out one night to watch a track meet, and the coach came over. He says, "You can't come here." He said, "Unless you get clearance from the school board." I said, "You got to be kidding me!" So I finally went to the, find out what was going on, and they said, "Well, we didn't set that proposal." So then I came back the following year, started helping as an assistant. Uh, when I could. But uh, during that period of time, I was starting track meets. Okay. I was a starter, like the guy you see here in the yellow shirt. Yeah. And I did that for thirty some years. Oh wow! And. Uh, I worked with state shot put down at the states for 35 years. Okay. And okay. I worked at district track meets for years. I even watched after I retired from coaching. I was working districts until about uh, three years ago. I resigned. And I worked the shot put down to states in the districts all those years. Okay. Um, we're kind of running short on time here. So I'm going to ask you one final question. How much did you enjoy coaching track here and watching players? Oh, I, uh, I enjoyed it because I had kids. That, I had kids that wanted to win. I mean, I had kids that were, you know, real good athletes, and they they produced. Uh, I didn't have to go beg them and stuff like that. Uh, I had a couple of kids by the name of Fink. They were farm boys out of Elmsport. The the they never come to practice. <laughs> they go home. They milk the cows, put their bib overalls in. They would run up the mountain. That was their practice. Then they come back down. They come out here. They came to practice probably one day a week. But uh, I think uh, they hold a couple of records in there. If you look at a couple of distance runners in there, you'll see a couple named Finks up there. And they also had two sisters that ran for me. So as I said, uh, you know, it's a pleasure coaching when you have kids that you don't have to bake to do this and do that. You say, hey, I need somebody to run them out. Okay, coach. Boom, they jump in there. And uh, that's what's our success. As I said, you know, we should have never been competing with the side of school we were. We should have never been competing with Lock Haven, Jersey Shore, and Sealing Group, you know, and Lewisburg. Lewisburg, we were supposed to run Lewisburg. And the meet was canceled. We were supposed to run it uh, two days later. So we called down and said, we're well, having a meeting. The athletic director says, he's went out. He said, we put our equipment away. They wouldn't run us because he knew we were going to beat them. Yeah. So yep. he he put the, he said he put the equipment so we never did get that meet in that year. So I enjoyed coaching it. I, I was first introduced to track when I was a. She's like leaving or something. Okay. Uh, we appreciate the interview and you taking the time to do this with us. Okay.